So today we're going to be doing something kind of different, but kind of the same. Today we are going to be bed fishing. So if you don't know what bed fishing is, it is where the largemouth bass or any kind of bass <laughs> makes their bed, which they only do in spawning season down here. I'm pretty sure it happens a lot in March. It mostly happens, I'm pretty sure in March. I'm pretty sure. I'm not used to Florida yet. <laughs> happens mostly in March. And what we are going to be doing is going to a pond that I found a good week ago and I've noticed a lot of active beds around that aren't really being fished by a lot of people so we're gonna go and we are going to throw these two flies really all we're gonna be doing is throwing these two flies I'm gonna be going out with my buddy who hasn't really been fly fishing all that long I think it's been like five six months what's up Pat? But we're gonna try and get him on his personal best largemouth bass today I think it's possible the flies we're mainly gonna be using are this black and purple game changer it's a little bit bigger than what i normally use just because i want something that's a little bit more uh bulky and obvious for those uh bedded bass to see and then we're going to be using this fly that i picked up a while ago from my uh, local store local fly fishing store orlando outfitters it's kind of like a crawdad style fly but it's really cool because it has this little like flotation foam pad on the back so when it hits the bottom it's going to hit the bottom, but the tail's going to kind of stand up. And I'm really interested to see if the bass really pick up on that. Literally pick up on that. <laughs> but we're mainly just going to be using these two flies today. And I'm just hoping that we can get my buddy on his personal best bass on the fly rod and just his personal best bass overall. I think that'd be really cool. Like I said, I have looked at this pond for like the past week. I've noticed two, two beds that are a little more active than the other ones. The only concern I have today is it is, it's perfect weather, it's bright blue bird skies up, which I like for uh, sight casting and bed fishing, but it's a little windy, so that make make the water a little bit harder to see in and read. But other than that, let's go catch some fish. So the plan kind of changed, not really though. So we went to the spot that I said we were going to go to. We hit the uh, two beds that I was aware of that I've been to in the past like week, looked at them. They were pretty active during then, but this day, unfortunately, they just weren't that active. The one bed was still active-ish, but the fish were just more interested in themselves than they were the fly, which is understandable. They're still mating, so that's good. So we'll try and get out on, get out on them another day. But I was walking the bank and I found the perfect fish for him to get out onto. It was a good like two to three pound largemouth bass, which was just, it was a perfect fish for him. And this fish was just, it's going to sound funny, but it was just such a cooperative fish. And it was just, in my opinion, such a rare bed fish. I, I just, I wish I could explain it a little bit more, but this fish was just almost too cooperative and it was perfect for him since he's a beginner fly fisherman and this fish was just all sorts of revved up and just interested in any fly we were throwing. He was throwing around the bigger fly which had that little uh, flotation on the back of it which I showed in the beginning of the video and you can see in the video I'm, I'm getting all anxious and excited for him to try and get on this fish. I'm giving him instructions left and right and It'll switch to GoPro audio here in a bit, and you'll be able to hear what we were saying and going through. But this was just so much fun. As you can see, he's smiling the entire time, just cheesing. And it's just, it's a ton of fun. You can see the fish. It was a perfect day, as you can tell. Not a lot of clouds in the sky, just a little bit of cloud coverage. But you can tell that it was just a ton of fun. Bed fishing, when you can see the fish like this, and you can see your fly and you can see how the fish reacts and you're casting that like a specific point it's just a ton of fun and what we're really trying to do right here is i'm just trying to find the sweet spot of the fish so bed fish you're gonna have like a good like maybe like two foot bed but the bass is only going to hit in a specific spot so we're just trying to find it real quick i didn't really edit a lot of this video out just because i wanted you guys to see how long it took us to actually catch this fish we're going to switch to some GoPro audio right here, and I hope you guys enjoy. But other than that, it was a ton of fun, and stay tuned for the end of the video. It's worth it. Let's switch to some GoPro audio. <laughs>
all the way in. All the way, got right there. Okay, let's it, let's it. He's going over to it. Pop it, pop it. Oh. <laughs> there you go, there you go. All the way in. Pull, 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 pull. Stop it. Right there. Let's it, let's it a little bit, let's it. Let's it, let's it a little bit. Take it a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> let's it, let's it. Take it a little bit. Yeah, he is. He, he's interested. Let's it a little bit. Go. Back a little bit. I, I'm, I'm jumping my, my words right now. <laughs> Just bring it back out. Go back in. Try and get it. Right there. You just bring that all the way in. All the way in. Just all past this grass. All the way in. Just go. Let's sit right there. M moving it a little bit. There you go. He's right over there. He's looking at it. He's looking right at it. So what we need to do... Get in a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So you see this stick right here in the water? Yeah. Just try and hit that. So like right... Yeah. Okay. Now move it a little bit. Right? Yeah. And let it sit. Let it sit right there. This is the good spot. Trip it in a little bit. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit. Pop it, pop it a little bit. He's not on it. Hit a little bit, little, move it a little bit. Just wait and just if you Stand if you see it. if you see it disappear, just. Oh, oh, believe me, I'm yanking this motherfucker out the water, bro. Strip it a little bit in. Okay, we're gonna cast one more. Oh, stop. I think what I'm gonna have you do is just use my rod or try and get. Yeah, cast it back in there. Cause this is his bed right here. You can see where his bed is. Clear as day. I mean, he's he's interested in the fly. It's just strip it in, strip, strip, strip. He's on it. Well, he's not on it. On him. He's right on it. And oh my god, I might have you actually throw this bigger fly that you were throwing earlier. I think that might piss him off a little bit more. Was this too heavy? Yeah, it was. Like, can you make? Weight, can actually. you make that cast? I can make a cast on that. Oh my god, these casts are freaking beautiful. Strip it in. I mean, he's right. There. You got him. <laughs> the good thing is, so right there, like, so he's what you did was anywhere. what you did was good because you don't want to. If you f up the hook and you actually get a hook in him and he gets off, then he's not gonna. He's he's just gonna go away. But if he bites it, there you go. Just look at the yellow. I mean, if you see that, you tip it a little bit. Take it. Tick. He's gonna get that. He's gonna get it. He's gonna. He's gonna molly walk that thing. He's so interested in that. Now, don't hook set. If you see that entire thing disappear, hook set. But if you just see the, don't don't do anything. See, that's he, he didn't do anything right there. He's just trying to bite it and take it off the bed. It's it's only when they like actually take it and they start running that you want to like actually put the full work in but like he's probably just gonna try and pick it up a little he's probably gonna try and pick it up a few times and take it off the bed pick it up a few times take it off the bed and like the slightest movement will do a whole lot like right now you no, that's not doing anything <laughs> You'll see it, you'll you'll know when they, like, so, like I said, he's probably just going to try and do that, like. A ton. But he's, he's staying true to his bed, so that's a good sign.
fish is, it's, he's a catchable fish. Try and get it like literally right like, there on his back. Right yeah. Down. That's his spot, bro. Like a little bit over. Yeah, let it, let it drop right there. I'm Take it in a little bit. That's a good cast. Get it over here a little bit. I honestly lost. No, no, he's right there. There. He's acting like he doesn't care, but he cares. Just tick it a little bit. Move it a little bit more. He's coming over to it. He's coming over to it. A little bit more. He's coming over to it. He's going to hit this one. Tick it a little bit. He's going to hit it. Tick it. Give you like two or three more casts of that, and you can use my rod. Do that, but do it on like past that stick. It's like right there. Now start ticking it like that. I think that might piss him off. I can't see the fish if I'm honest with you. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Keep moving it. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Stop right there. Tiny. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it again. <laughs> Bro, my eyes are drying out. I'm trying to keep them open. <laughs> Here, try and make a cast literally like so the stick all the way over to the left of it, like right at the bottom of that stick. You can come over here if you want. He, the good thing, like I said, he can't really see us right now. Because we're all blocked. The left of the stick? Yeah, right. Perfect. Now put your rod over there a little bit. Put it over there a little bit. Work it there. Now let it drop. Okay, there we go. That might piss him off. Strip it in a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Strip. Strip. <laughs> Strip, 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 strip. He's not on. He's not. He, that wasn't in his mouth. Trust me. I promise to God that wasn't in his mouth. It was in his mouth, but the hook wasn't. Here. Okay. Take it a little bit. You can bring that in if you want. Here. I'll give you my rod. Unless you want to catch my ears, I don't care. to the right. Strip it in a little bit. Strip. Strip. Strip that in. Tiniest little tick. Tiniest little tick. Tiniest. 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 Nope. It's good that you did that because you didn't. You, you weren't going to spook him. You want to try this fly? One more. I'll give you one more with that. <laughs> hey, these are some good casts. I mean, if I'm honest. Well, That's a good cast right there. When you, when you hit one spot over there you go hit it hit it hit it no like go strip strip hard let's sit let's sit right there right there right there let it sit pop 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 it no he didn't get that one here it literally just burnt the fuck out of my hand the way i just dragged it wasn't in his mouth i know but i burnt my fingers i burnt my fingers here use this rod You're gonna catch this fish.
we're catching this damn fish. It's in my line switch right here one minute. Catches a fish. I would be so mad. I feel like such a douche. Yeah, he's still there. There should be enough line pulled out. It's a good cast. Strip. Let's sit. Strip it down a little bit. Strip it down a little bit. Strip it down a little bit. I can't see where his face is. You're stuck on something. I don't know what you're stuck on, but he's, he literally has it in his mouth right now. Oh, he had it in his mouth. You were stuck on a rock. But, uh, I just saw like a tiny fish come by. Yeah. I'm on his back. Again. There you go. Stop it right there. Strip it in a little bit. There's crap on that. Nope, nope, don't set that up. Dude, your line is like so nice and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> We did catch the one fish. It took us about like maybe like 25 to 30 minutes to catch that fish. It was an absolute blast. I, that's probably the biggest fish we're gonna catch today. We're actually like at our like sixth pond right now. I think we're just gonna end the video right here. It was it was a ton of fun. It was a successful day. Bed fishing is not the easiest thing to do, especially when you're using the fly rod and the conditions aren't really in your favor. But we got it done. He definitely caught his personal best. Uh, bass you can see him in the background right there <laughs> he definitely got his personal best bass and his personal best bass on the eight weight fly yard which is really cool he actually has a really cool instagram which you guys should go check out i'll link it down below i'll probably put a little thing right here too it'll say the name but it's really cool it's all vinyl music and whatnot go check that out other than that guys i hope you guys liked the video subscribe comment we'll catch you on the next one